In this video we're going to have a look at a, a gift voucher or a gift card plugin. So to show you how that works we're going to head over here to the gift voucher. We're going to click on that gift voucher and you'll see that we have a, a price within this range. So we'll enter the price, uh, the sender name and we can enter a message. Thank you for a great year. Enjoy the gift. Right, so with that entered, we can add to cart. We can go and view the cart, and we can pretty much check out as normal. So we view the cart, proceed to check out. And then we can place the order. Great, so the order placed. So we're just going to have a look at the emails that have come in. So we have a look here at the emails that have come in and we'll have a look at the first email here. And this is the voucher that was sent to the customer. And we download the pictures. There's a nice picture. Thank you for a great year. Enjoy the gift from to the coupon, the coupon code. Let's just copy that. The expiration disclaimer for the gift voucher if there is one and then of course you also have the email that is sent to the admin so if we have a look at that um, that's just to say that the gift card has been sent successfully and then we also have the order email which will look something like that so there we have it from to thank you for a great year enjoy the gift and then the order information so that all goes through. Once the voucher is received, the client can head over to the shop and they can then spend their voucher. So just to show you how that works, let's um, add that to the cart and we'll add a logo to the cart. Right, so let's um, view our cart. And then I'm going to paste in the coupon and apply the coupon. Now it was a $300 coupon, so obviously it will remove everything that I have in my basket. Um, not remove, but it will discount the entire amount. We proceed to the checkout. And then we can do the checkout as normal, and you'll see here that the coupon has been applied. So that's pretty much how the coupon works. And uh, let's just go and have a look at the the plugin that was used, look at the settings and then also how to design the template for the gift voucher that, that we decide to use. So the plugin that we've used here is from a company called Makeware Better and they have the ultimate gift cards for WooCommerce plugin. This is it over here and we'll just have a look here at what that looks like. So if we have a look at view details this is what you can expect to see inside the WordPress repository. So ultimate gift cards for WooCommerce and then we also here yeah, have some screenshots. This is just displaying really funny inside my version of uh, Chrome. Right, so let's go and have a look at the settings there. So make web better and we go and have a look at the settings and you'll see this is the free version. And there's quite a lot that you can do with the free version. Once installed, there is an overview that you can have a look at. Under the uh, general settings, though, you can see there's quite a lot that you can do here. For example, we obviously have to enable the WooCommerce gift card. We can enable tax, um, enable gift card product listing on the shop page, which is what we, we have done. Then um, allow the card to be used on its own and then also um, allow on free shipping. So you can decide what products this card is applied to. A um, couple of other things here then, the, the coupon length, uh, the number of um, digits in the coupon code, if you'd like a prefix, uh, the expiry, uh, the minimum spend, the maximum spend, and the gift card number of times of usage. So you can uh, leave that on zero for unlimited or you can set how many times that gift card can actually be applied. 
So these are general global settings and a lot of these can be overridden when you're actually on the product page. So here we have um, an option to exclude sale items or exclude certain products or exclude a product category. Uh, we also then have um, the email templates. So this is the email template that gets sent out and you'll see how that we've uh, we can set in a logo, uh, an image, gift card message length, um, and disclaimer for a gift voucher. So there is this is not the template layout. These are just the elements that will be included in the template. Uh, then we have the delivery method, and here you can choose between an email or enable a downloadable feature. And then we have a couple of other settings. So a lot of these you don't need to worry about, but others would Im would include then say disable apply coupon fields um, on the cart or the checkout pages or disable the preview button at the front end. Um, and then we have the gift card uh, redemption, gift card redeem. So that's the redeem link. That's where somebody will go to redeem it. And then this is the embedded link. But what we can do is let's just go and have a look at the templates then for the gift cards. So the template that we used in this demo was the gift for you. And you'll recognize that. So this is the template that was emailed through. There we have the featured image and then it had the amount, the message, the from, the to, the coupon code, the expiry date. So you can come in here and if you want to you can um, create your own you can adjust and you can also look at it in the text view and make some adjustments there so this is where you can play around a bit with the template layout and if you're not happy with that template we do have some other templates as well that are available to us so we have the Merry Christmas template and here we have the Merry Christmas template so we have a nice Merry Christmas layout to from the coupon code the amount so you see how that works so there are some nice coupons that you can use and then to actually create the product let's go and have a look at that so we head over to products and then we're going to create a new product and what we're going to do is we're going to call this the Christmas coupon so in the product name let's go Christmas uh, gift voucher and then uh, we'll add a an image so we select a product image and in this case because it's Christmas we'll go with this Merry Christmas image and then what we'll do is we'll change the product type here to gift card and you'll see now that when you change that you have a couple of options available to you so the default price let's make it a hundred and the email template let's make that Merry Christmas template so that's pretty much it and then we're going to publish and just with those settings let's go and have a look at what that looks like on the front end so here I am we're just waiting for that to load up so here we are on the gift page Merry Christmas and the amount here in this case we've just put in a default amount of 100 and the sender name is going to be Bruce Sender uh, let's give this message uh, and the mail to recipient and then we add that to cart we view the cart and now we don't want any other products with this particular order so I'm going to remove those and I'm going to remove that and we're just going to have our Christmas card gift voucher I'm going to proceed to the checkout uh, and now you see that it's automatically applied this coupon so I don't want that coupon that was the coupon from the previous voucher so that's automatically applied this will be a new order and I'm gonna place the order and then the emails will come through and we'll just have a look at those so let's have a look here 
at the mails that get sent through. So here's the first mail. So that's the um, the order confirmation, and here we this should uh, order confirmation. Let's just get that voucher coming through. Um, I think that'll be this one. Or well, this will just tell us. There we go. And then we download the images. And there you see we have the logo. Merry Christmas. This is the message. Um, $100 coupon code. There's no expiration to. And that's from the sender. So that's pretty much how the GIF voucher works. It is a free plugin. So it works uh, nice and easily. There's nothing complicated about that. Very easy to use. Um, and a great idea for the holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed that um, video. And uh, thank you for watching.